Hello friends, my name is Katie from Eternal Flame and today I'm so excited to share with you all a flip through and talk through of my Hobonichi weeks for 2023. So if you're interested in hearing about this past week, how it went, what I did, seeing the spread, as well as a talk through about my brand new cover, please stick around. Thanks everyone. Alrighty, so I'm just gonna be really honest with you all. I ordered these covers months ago and um, took a while to get it uh, from Hong Kong. So I'm here in the United States, it took a while. And on top of that, I have not had time to film this and set it up. I wanted to do a proper unboxing. And if I'm being truly honest with you all, I don't know that the unboxing video is gonna make it onto the internet, um, but I do want to share my excitement about my new cover. So I should start off by saying thank you so very much because around the time that I was shopping for covers, I think in November of 22, I actually, or maybe even earlier, I asked you all for suggestions and got some great feedback. I actually have written it down in all of my many journals about um, where I should consider getting my next covers from. Um, so one of the ones that I was, con so I asked for suggestions for leather type, like natural looking covers and ended up with this beautiful patchwork <laughs> fabric cover uh, from Hong Kong on Etsy from this Etsy seller called Sakura handcraft i think so i will leave information in the description box down below if you're interested i picked up three items that i will share with you all today as part of this flip through um but this one was my i was most excited about this for you guys because i'm this is a flip through of the weeks but i'll share the other ones as well um so this is what it looks like uh front and back it's super soft love it um i think it's still like it adds um it makes the weeks kind of sturdy i guess without being too bulky if that makes sense she also had alternatives with zippers that i was heavily considering but i ended up going with this one um i think if you order a certain amount she includes um what do you call it a clear cover cover on cover for this so i have a cover on cover for this one but not for the other one but the other one's darker so it's totally fine and she of course also included some uh stationary items that i'm so grateful for i wish that I was able to successfully film the unboxing. Um, and so anyways, if it doesn't make up, I'm sorry. So sorry for that. Make it up to the internet. Okay, so that's that. Uh, before we get into it, I did want to share with you all uh, my A5 size take a note cover, which I also, like I mentioned, got from this shop. So let's see if I can set all this aside so you can kind of see what they look like side by side. Um, doesn't look like it's fitting in frame. <laughs> So I apologize, but anyways, so this is the A5 size. I think some people were using it also for the Hobonichi Cousin, which I had in 22, but I do not have now in 23. Um, I got the A5 size Take a Note because it was like half the price and I absolutely love it. So the Take a Note is actually my everyday carry personal planner. Um, it's where like my safe space, I guess, where I can dump all of my thoughts and um, my appointments for doctors and things like that so I don't get confused about where I'm going. But similar to this one, it's um, handcrafted fabric cover, patchwork, quilt work, I guess, quilt, <laughs> quilted cover. Um, love it so much. I love these little bunnies. It feels kind of like a flannel here. Um, reminds me a lot of the fabrics that actually Hobonichi uses and I actually wanted that one but it Every time I went to go purchase it, it was either out of stock or I, I don't, I don't, for some reason it just didn't work out. So I ended up with this one, really happy with it. I feel like they complement each other really well. And uh, yeah, so super excited to get into that. But uh, before we move on now to the flip through, I also bought what Hobonichi would call a drawer pouch, I think. So I'm going to set this aside, but you can kind of see before I set these aside that they all go well together. And I'm so excited. Look at this bunny. Can you see the bunny in frame? Yeah. So this bunny and these two bunnies here, oh, like the detail is so sweet. Okay. So I'm going to set these aside for now until we break this back out for the flip through. But I wanted to show you all kind of like a close-up of it. Here's the detail and the hardware. Um, I don't actually have a drawer pouch from Hobonichi. Um, I purchased the small, I guess, or the really tiny one. Oh gosh, this is really close. But I just want to show you what it looks like on the inside. It's got an outer pocket here, fabric pocket in the back. 
you see. And then it's got a big pocket in here, like a mesh pocket. It's got a zipper pocket in the center. And then a bunch of little pockets here for like die cuts and stickers. So I'm pretty excited to load this up. I might um, probably share that with you all. I don't know if you guys are interested. Let me know. Um, but fell, fell in love with this design. Um, yeah. All right. Let's go. <laughs> Set that aside and get right into this one here. So now that we covered that, um, I'm gonna just give you another look at it. This beautiful artwork and this tree, this <laughs> I tree Hobonichi that wasn't really popular. I see it on Amazon now, so if it's available, I'll link it in the description box down below. It's a hardcover. Um, it's not a mega, so I, I think most of the megas don't. I, I think the megas don't come with designs. Um, it's not a fabric cover, so it's actually like hard and probably hopefully won't get dirty i don't know <laughs> especially with this cover i haven't filled the pockets that's how fresh this guy is and uh yeah let's get right into it so i have this glue here because i actually use it for this weekly spread um this current week today is sunday the 15th i hope to get it up either today or tomorrow um but <laughs> yeah i've been so busy i was in class on friday and saturday uh so i used my Daiso stickers, I recently hauled Daiso stickers that I shared with you all in a previous video. To decorate this page, I used this really big one to anchor the spread and kind of take up all the space because I knew that I wouldn't really have time to um, do anything productive other than my homework and school because I leave probably, I wanna say like, shoot seven o'clock in the morning or earlier 6 30 7 o'clock which means i'm up even earlier you know get getting ready <laughs> uh, so it feels like i have no time and then i don't get home sometimes on friday until like 10 o'clock or later and um so anyways long story short i use this really big sticker from daiso to um with all the little animal friends stacked on top of each other with this pencil <laughs> to um symbolize like what i do with my friends in school <laughs> Uh, so that's what I have and then I also have these guys here. I was supposed to study and do a ton of reading this week and I did not Very unfortunate and you can kind of see that here with uh, the top there. I mean, I guess I kind of read this. Oh, oh my guys <laughs> I just received and opened film the unboxing and probably won't post it because uh, I ran out of storage space, but anyways of my new pilot vanishing point pen with the EF nib so I have both the replacement fine nib here in this gold, can you see it? As well as the new one, which is the EF nib, which was actually the OG one that I broke. And um, anyways, I wanted to share that with you all because the F nib, um, it is paired with the Atromagist Archive ink in black. And I wanted to show you the comparison between the two different nibs, just like side by side. So I did read on Friday and I did read on Saturday and it was in class, but we're just not gonna tell anyone. And actually it's kind of dry right now. <laughs> this is terrible, terrible example. Let's see if I can get this ink flowing negative. <laughs> so anyway. Um, that's fine. You kind of get the idea there, but this one is paired with the Caveco uh, Midnight Blue ink that I picked up in Germany, I think. I think I picked that up in Germany. Um, so yeah, this is also that ink. I love the color and actually it goes really well with the cover. Oh my goodness. So excited if you can't tell. So these stickers were from Daiso. They were $2 for this whole sheet. I can't find the sheet right now. <laughs> Sorry. And they're not really, um, sticky like very adhesive which i like actually so i liked it because typically when i place something down on the tumway river paper if i have to peel it back up i'm probably going to rip the page this is not the case with these iso stickers however this really big sticker here was having trouble i don't know if you can see it's peeling up here but i used this tombow mono liquid glue that i had from my journaling days to kind of glue it down and see how it goes and it seems to be holding up pretty well um, other than that, I used some of my DIY um, YouTube stickers, <laughs> the uh, miscuts, I guess, the misprints and things that I, I don't, I would never sell or give to someone else, but I figured I can use it myself. So that's what I have here uh, for the days that I posted. I'm hoping to post today. I also used some of my Happy Planner stickers to mark that my husband and I went grocery shopping this morning. And then as always, my running task list here. 
Um, let's see, I couldn't find my Honichi basic stencil and so therefore you'll see here that it's pretty inconsistent when the pen that I used because I was on the go. Um, also, I used dots instead of the check boxes. Um, also, really fun, fun thing that I used here is this I think they're gel pens from Archer and Olive that I got in one of the subscriptions. So I've received them twice now. Um, I actually think the other ones are over that way. But I think this was like from a one that just, I don't, the colors are so beautiful. Like they're definitely my vibes for 23. So I have them here out on my desk. And so I should have done it on a pen test page, but thank God it worked out fine. And as you can see, it's set really well. And there's definitely some texture too with it. Let's see if I can show you close up. Can you see that? So there's definitely some texture. Uh, I feel like it's going with the cover too. So, um, but yeah, and then this is also a happy planner sticker. I'm not really happy with the fact that I was not very productive this week, um, as you can see, but there's not really much I can do. Um, last thing I wanted to share with you all is that, so because the take a note planner is my personal planner, let's see if I can share something with you. Um, Please let me know if you're interested in seeing a plan with me in this planner. Uh, what I can do is set up for the week and share that with you. Um, how I set up this weekly spread here and then also the dailies for at least the first half of the week um, because it's really repetitive. Um, but I share this with you because what I've been using this for is tracking all of my private things, but any extra space, I've been kind of practicing my handwriting, as you can see here for like headers. So for example, if um, typically I would put the wish list in here and then use my Zig Clean Color Dot Marker in Fawn or Platinum to mark it down. And then I'd box it out with my mild liners that I picked up on Amazon as well and any of these like neutral tones or, or the mild violet and uh, just box it out and then create lists. And I've also been using my mechanical pencil along with my Pigma Micron pens and some Tombow dual brush pens to color it in and play around with like as a safe space for me to draw and maybe sketch out new stickers and things. So that's what I've been using this for uh, in addition to like doctor's appointments and things and homework and um, yeah, all the things, journaling. But I bring that up because it gave me the courage to kind of um, practice in my Hobonichi weeks for work as well as here. And so that's what you'll see. I created a header here very simply. I think this was actually with the Klenna. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have so many things to link in the description box. Uh, this Energel Klenna that I picked up on Amazon just to write it out. And then I just drew a line, a continuous line. Um, like I had mentioned, I journaled in the previous part of this week before I received my new pen with the EF nib with the fine nib here in Diatromentis ink. And then with that same Zig Clean Color dot marker, just created a wish list for all of the stationary items that I'm wanting. Alrighty friends, that's basically all I have for today. I am <laughs> very excited to film a shorter video for the day. And uh, yeah, thank you so very much for taking the time to join me today. If you enjoyed this video, I would very much appreciate it if you let me know by giving the video a thumbs up. And of course, making sure you're subscribed. Until next time, friends. Bye everyone.